Martin McGuinness, in my view, has shown incredible leadership. He's one of the outstanding political leaders of my generation. And he's also somebody that fought for the last 10 years to the nail to maintain the institutions in the North. So unlike Noel, I understand that Martin McGuinness has done absolutely everything to make sure that these institutions and for the first half, for the first half of his career, well, for the first half of his career, he was also very much involved in the campaign of violence in this island that had very little support and well, most the people found, he was repre in, found the campaign morally he was, reprehensible. The campaign he was involved in, I'm proud of. I'm proud of Martin McGuinness's involvement in the IRA. I will never shy away from that. And that's something that I admire Martin McGuinness for because we needed people to step forward, as Martin McGuinness did as a young man, to stand against what was happening. Because while a lot of presenters talk about IRA violence, you never want to talk about the violence of I've the unionists. You never want to talk uh, about the violence of Dave, the British. That's not true. And, well, I'm not saying you personally, I'm saying that there's many people who don't. And Martin McGuinness was somebody who was born into a situation not of his own making. So I'm sure he's proud of everything he's done in his life. He, he won't be proud, and I'm not proud of everything the IRA did, but he's certainly proud of the fact that he stood up and was in the IRA. But my point about the institutions is that I'm making that point because we did not take this decision lightly. And this was a recommendation that was made by Martin McGuinness, and he would not have made this decision lightly. We have tried, we had the Stormont House Agreement, the Fresh Start Agreement, we've tried absolutely everything. But if you have institutions which are not based on parity of esteem, on equality and genuine partnership, they, they are just not sustainable. And we need a step change in the attitude from the DUP towards nationalists, towards Republicans. Okay, and that's, towards that's obviously coming from one well. partisan side. Stephen, just a bit.